Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to introduce you uh, to you um, Airfield. It's a command line ut utility written in Java 8, and uh, what it does, it is very simple. It initially installs an app and then keeps the app up to date. It doesn't have to be actually a Java application, it can be whatever you like. So uh, you could also sync, you know, um, uh, documents, uh, folders or whatever. So um, it is simplistic. So let's install the application. I would like to use the released version, Airfield. So we just copy the link. And what I what I have here are, is, are two folders, empty folders, junk. So this is empty. And Airfield uh, git repo, where I will start the remote git server and, and, and also install a remote application. So... Uh, this is not empty yet, so now it's empty. So I would like to uh, use the curl command and install airfield. So it's self-contained, so it should work out of the box. Java minus jar, airfield, and it seems to work. So um, the usage is Java minus jar. You can point where to install something and from where to install something. So we have an empty folder here. And what I would like to install is uh, a small command line utility as well called Loader. Uh, a loader is used to, um, to push um, Java e archives to production. So I will use the recent release. We'll use this coupling. And what I will do, I will, um, I will just um, use the same command um, or do a mistake, so I would download um, the loader without the minus L, and what happens behind the scenes, it will just download, should download an HTML page, exactly, so it didn't follow the links, so there is no redirect, which is of course not what you would expect, but let's, let ignore me this for a second, so I would like to um, create an, a git repository first here, then add the, um, the loader.jar to the repository. And then let's say we would like, this was the initial upload of our app. So now we are clean. So what, what I uh, will do here is the same uh, directory. I will just uh, start a git daemon, which runs on port uh, 4242, of course. And um, now I will attempt to uh, to to um, to install the remote app. So um, Java minus jar airfield, and I would like to use a local folder called install. Install could be anything, of course. And the remote URI is the um, good URI, uh, Git uh, URI, uh, localhost forty two forty two, and trailing slash is important here. So, and what happened is um, it was just recognized there is no local repository, so it created once. So, if we go here to git install um, and loader, so it was installed, but you see it's the same content. So, if I try to do this, I get hopefully an error. Mm. So, I get something, yeah, invalid or corrupt jar file. So, it is, looks like a jar, but it isn't. So, let's fix this. So I will try to um, to fix the problem by re-downloading the utility properly, and properly means with minus L option, which follows the links. And uh, let's see. So status, as we can see, it's modified. So git um, commit, and let's say um, jar fixed. So it is fixed. Now go back here and I will reinstall the application, just reload it. Java minus char. As you can see, uh, it recognized that it was already downloaded, so just updated this. And now try the same Java minus char install. And what was it? Loader? Fine. It seems to work. So what uh, Airfield, um, it just synchronizes the folder. So what you will have to do, you will have to uh, write a small script with uh, Nasorn or Shell or Batch file or whatever. So I would prefer NAS1, and uh, uh, with two lines of code, you get an auto-update in your applications. So thank you for watching, and see you at um, AirHacks, um, or at various conferences, or even in some Java, Java E projects. Thank you.